Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another episode of the Krusty Couch Podcast. I am your host, Noah, joined by the ever voluptuous Paul. How are you doing? Hello. Hello. I'm doing rather well. How are you? It's almost Halloween. It is almost Halloween. My favorite time of the fucking year. Oh, yeah, like two man. months. Wait, no, next month. Next month. <laughs> next month. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's uh, almost almost time for the best time of the year um before christmas rears its ugly head around the corner and doesn't give thanksgiving a chance but um that's for that's that's like thanksgiving that's whack i agree but i'm just saying like christmas should stay in fucking december i'm so sick of seeing people decorations still up on in january and starting putting their decorations up in november like keep it in december people do the same shit for halloween you halloweeners do it all the time (laughs) halloweeners all the time starting like july okay, just... <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't tell me you don't it's true uh, i have i have never seen anyone start putting up halloween decorations Look, in july. right after right after july 4th they <laughs> switch right over into halloween mode it's gonna be halloween in like three months anyway <laughs> yeah and they do i swear you shoot your fireworks you go where bless america now it's time for Halloween, and you just <laughs> you kick out everything. You switch out the American flag hat for a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you shoot a firework into like the pumpkin patch, and it sets them up perfectly on your lawn. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and uh, all the seeds and all that. The seeds yeah. are already roasted for you. Ooh. You ever been to a pumpkin patch? I've never been. I'm going to this year, but no, I've never been either. Mm. Um, we're already Be careful confirmed. for the children in the corn. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll be sure to watch out for that. You ever seen? <laughs> you've never seen that movie? Yeah, Children of the Corn. Of course, it's a classic. Yeah. I um, actually saw it, and I didn't think it was that good. It's whatever. Ah, eh, you know, sometimes classics don't live up to because they have like the years and years of like build up in your own head, or you just hear people talking about it, mm-hmm. and then when you watch it, you're just kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's whatever. Like I can yeah. I can appreciate a good horror movie, but that's like. I was just like, eh, it's like a B, it's like a B horror fl- flick. I'm trying My to eyes. think of, a, I'm trying to think of a movie that was like that. Like, I, there, I'm sure there is, but I can't think of one right now. Like, um, I, uh, I enjoy the Blob. You ever seen the Blob? That's a good movie. Which one? <laughs> the, the older one. Okay, the one in the '50s with Steve McQueen. That sure. One, that one's really, really great. Yeah, that movie's been remade like seven times. Yeah, yeah. It's always a good time to blab. You think it wouldn't be fun, but it's it's a good time to blab. It's one of those just like classic horror movies where you're like, oh my god, there's a giant ant destroying the yeah. entire city. <laughs> it's those are sweet. Those. Yeah. It's what would you time. do against a giant ant? You know, you hope for a big ass bottle of raid. <laughs> that would be like in a spoof movie of the time where the government would be make working on a giant bottle of raid to like drop on it from a helicopter i i wouldn't have been opposed to it if i saw it in the movie uh there's other weird movies i'm not going to try to get into into like halloween movies or horror movies but i guess we're on the topic now yeah that's for october but but we'll go more in depth later but yeah. yeah 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 but you ever see the tomato movie Attack of the uh, Killer Tomatoes. Uh, yeah, Attack of Killer. The, yeah. Yeah, uh, I've yeah, seen it. Like, like that's a funny movie. It is. It's not meant to be taken seriously. That one and Killer Clowns from Outer Space are Classic. two movies that are not meant to be taken seriously at all. And that one's dope. Yeah, the fact that people are scared of um, Killer Clowns from Outer Space is really silly to me. So I'm like, it's movies not even remotely scary. <laughs> yeah. It's meant to be funny. Yeah. I don't know. But um, yeah, all the Halloween and horror movie talk we'll save for October, the best time of the year uh, before (sighs) Christmas ruins everything. Yeah. Christmas time is my time. That's that's where I shine. Really? You're more of a Christmas guy? I'm more of a Christmas guy. I like Halloween, but it's like, I don't know. It's a one night thing. And And then Christmas is more like a, a whole month two months <laughs> christmas does dominate I, I would say it dominates no uh november and december and it lingers yeah. in january yeah it lingers around 
Yeah. It's where Mariah Carey collects her annual bag. We've talked about this before, but yep. That you know, I read an interesting little tab, a little fact about her. I don't know if this is true. I'm just choosing to believe it is. It's Mariah Carey lore. That, oh, are you talking about that? Uh, they uh, tested airbags with within cars uh, based off of Mar- Mariah Carey's ass. What? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's so weird, <laughs> sir. Um, we we couldn't find anything else, so we just stared at Mariah Carey's ass, and we came with a revelation. <laughs> they te- they I just imagine her strapped down like an apparatus, and they just someone, throw things against her ass. Someone see flies how... in her. Yeah, <laughs> they crash cars. <laughs> <in her. laughs> Mariah, are you okay? Like, have you guys started the test yet? Like, she doesn't even know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is that uh, great. Um, no, but apparently she pays whoever she's dating like 80 grand a year just for like, what? this is what you give me for gifts. Like whenever I, my birthdays or anniversaries, like this is money for you to buy me something. For Wait, what? So she, I don't know if this is true. So she's mm-hmm. gifting herself. stuff. Yeah, she gives whoever she's dating money to buy her things. It's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, like that's like the ultimate like power move. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't know. I don't know. Well, does she tell you what she wants, or is it like, here, sweetie, here's ten grand. Go find me something. I would. I imagine that's what it is. She's like, or maybe like when they're at the store, she's like, "Ooh, that looks nice," and the guy in the back of his head's like, "Okay, I can afford that. I can buy that for her." You know what I mean? Like <laughs> that kind of thing. Like, um. You know who uh, you know who Liberace is? No, he's a he was a very famous pianist in the seventies and eighties. He was like okay. he was called Mister Showmanship. Anyways, he used to have these like men around that he would like sleep with and stuff. And if they looked at a car, like they're at a dealership and they looked at a car, it would show up in their driveway the next day. That's huh. how that's how loaded he was, and that's how much he loved to give to people. And that's how I imagine Mariah Carey wants it. She's like, I want to hmm. look at something and have it show up, but I don't want to buy it myself. <laughs> Are really rich people just really bored all the time? Because they're just like, what thrills is there left to chase? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. probably why, like, uh, that's probably why wealthy people do like all these dangerous acts. I feel yep. like yeah, you know, they gotta get some thrill. So they yeah. do like skydiving and bungee jumping and uh, other stuff similar to that would you ever go skydiving yeah okay yeah, i would it's so i have a really big fear of heights i think we discussed this but yeah uh one thing that i i like to fight it i like to get better at conquering my fears so okay. slowly i have been uh grinding against my fear of heights by going on like roller coasters and stuff like that and I think doing a skydiving would just uh, be one of the ultimate goals, <laughs> I guess. It would be quite the thrill, I'd say. I, I would say. Probably I'd shit my down. pants. I I don't think it would be that bad, though. I don't know. Oh. I mean, like, I on one hand, I'm jumping out of a plane. Uh, and, you know, if, if, if something goes wrong, I die. Big whoop. <laughs> But on the other hand, it's like, yeah, I got the I got the guy that's I'm gonna be strapped down to, and he's gonna take care of me, pet my hair, and all that. <laughs> he's gonna be fine. Rub your, your shoulders, make sure. Yeah, you rub know. my shoulder. I'll be okay. You know. Did you eat, did you eat today, sweetheart? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't. I don't think. I don't know. I I feel like skydiving is pretty safe for the most part. And again, and you know, if something goes wrong, I just die. It's not a big deal. <laughs> like on nonchalant, one like yeah you know i live long enough <laughs> unless somehow i fucking live that would <laughs> god i think it'd be worse to just live from skydiving it from a skydiving accident i just imagine you as like a like a splat but like um you're still alive like it's just your face but you're just a splat like <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> you ever you ever smush uh you ever mm. smush like a candle into the ground yeah and it's all like flattened yeah yeah i imagine that but just, just with your out. face on it yeah yeah 
Well, uh, what if what if you like did uh, legs first? Ouch! Ouch! You'd be like a you'd be like a xylophone. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or I mean an accordion. An accordion. A human That's accordion. Right. Right. <laughs> oh God! It'd be so painful. I'd be like made out of half jelly. I'd be a half jelly man. <laughs> half jelly man. Yeah, no, that's 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 true though. Like, you always want to die from a bear mauling. Like, you don't want to survive that and just be in the woods. <laughs> I don't know. Some people they go, "Oh, I'm so grateful to be alive." And I'm like, ah, I don't See, know if I could say the same. But those people were they were found. Like, okay, we're getting into the existential dread part of the podcast now. Where it's like, <laughs> yeah, imagine, sure. imagine if you're attacked by a bear in the middle of the woods and there's just no one around you. Like oh. you're you're reading all these accounts from people that are grateful because they got out of that situation. You're, but you're just there. Like no one knows mm-hmm. you're there. Mm-hmm. That's fucking terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I guess it's like, is it more terrifying for you to just like people know that you died, or didn't, or people didn't know that you died? You know, it's like the same thing. Does it does a tree make uh, make a sound if it falls in the woods or whatever with no one yeah, around? Yeah, if, if no one's around, yeah. Does the tree yeah. make a sound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it? Hmm? I would say yes. <laughs> Because <laughs> object permanence is a thing. No, um, things revolve around me. <laughs> it's like the it's like the whole Mandela effect thing. Like, you know what mm-hmm. that is? Yeah, I know what a Mandela effect is. It's it's like it can't possibly be just, oh, maybe I just misremembered. No, it has to be an alternate reality exists where this is a th- I'm like, okay, take it fucking easy. <laughs> we're not that important within the look, universe no, if, look no I, when i'm not near you or we're not in a podcast you don't exist <laughs> <laughs> all right okay Get used to it. okay that's fine yeah whatever. you don't make sounds yeah okay <laughs> only relative to me everything everything around where i live might as well just be tv static it just doesn't it's not a thing life does not resume without me <laughs> Do you think okay, Schrodinger's cat? All right. Uh huh. Put a hot dog in it. What is it now? <laughs> it's a sh- it's hmm? Schro- Schrodinger's dog, bro. Holy shit! It's... Is the dog hot or cold? Oh, is that what it is? That the ethical dilemma right there? Yeah. Is it hot <laughs> or cold? <laughs> and opening it will confirm one or the other, so you don't want to do it. Yeah. Well, no. the The dilemma is. Wait, what? The, yeah. The cat may be alive in there. But I think by opening it, you may have if if the cat is dead, you might have killed the cat or something like that. Schrodinger's cat. I don't remember. It's one it's it's one of the two. All, um I think it's I think it's no, I think you're right. I think it's if you open the box, have you killed and the it's cat? dead. Yeah. Did you yeah. kill it or has, was it already dead? Yeah. Or something like that, right? Yeah. Are you reading it? I am. What Schrodinger's cat is a thought experiment that illustrates a paradox of quantum superposition. In the thought experiment, a hypothetical cat may be considered simultaneously both alive and dead as a result of its fate being linked to a random subatomic event that may or may not occur. I think that's just a very fancy way of saying, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i want to fuck my mom that's all these scientists that's, that's, that's what they oh freud <laughs> wow my you're friend, so wise speaking of freud my friend kept so he was really trying to gaslight me on me liking my own mom and in, uh-huh. in that regard and he was like well i don't know uh you know sigmund freud did a lot of tests and apparently if you if you like bite your fingernails you want to fuck your mom i'm like what <laughs> i'm like what <laughs> do, like do you think like that, that do you think that freud was just really insecure he's like no everybody wants to fuck their mom yeah like, people, like, fucking people are like are you kidding me sigmund do you do you want to fuck your mom he's like no no Dude. not just me everybody <laughs> no yes that sigmund freud was a fucking weirdo and people are weird for one. following his fucking shitty logic <laughs> 
it, like his his methods have been disproven so many times, but people are still like, "Yup, yup, Sigmund Freud." You know, I heard, he's a I, heard, I heard that he's not really mentioned in like psychology classes these days. Mm-hmm. Really? Oh, they they start they they started. Heard, that's what I him. heard. Oh. Like classes with younger professors. Oh, okay. Don't really mention Freud anymore. That's probably a good idea because <laughs> he's. <laughs> you, I don't know why people still follow his fucking logic. Like his. Again, Sigmund. If you think about about like failures in science, I would say Sigmund Freud is probably one of them. Like he's mm. he's so bad. I don't I don't know if he's had like any successful experiments. I couldn't tell you. Well, um, or I theories that is don't really want to look him up. Damn, he died. He died. He died in like seventy years ago. God damn, eighty years ago. I thought he was like in the fucking like the 1600s or something. No, that's what I'm saying. I don't know why people still follow his fucking his (laughs) theories. Like they're not good. (laughs) They're old and they don't like he he definitely had some fucking closeted monsters. He wanted to bang his mom for sure. Yeah, Uh, people people still maybe they I, I don't know if they still use some of the aspects from his theories but like encompassing his whole theory on like development and all and all this crap like it's not people don't really look to him for that anymore i don't think i don't yeah i don't think so either but i i'm not super familiar on this um yeah but i don't think that they do really mention him as much what's the most disturbing fantasy or dream you've ever had yes I'm trying to think. Okay, so this was a stress dream. So this was back when I worked at Disney. I had like a very strange stress dream that I woke up like sweating over. So I had a dream where to promote The Force Awakens because I was working there when that movie came out. They handed us lightsabers, like real lightsabers um, to walk around with. And I was given Kylo Ren's. And in this dream, I was play fighting with a kid, you know, just doing Disney things. And then I just I killed him like I cut him clean in half (laughs) with this with this lightsaber. And like everybody just started screaming. I was like, oh, my God, (laughs) I just fucking murdered this kid. (laughs) And then (laughs) like in the dream, my rationality was like, I need to kill everybody now. Like nobody can know that I did this. You just started slashing everybody. I just started fucking like slashing people, and then I had the force. I was crushing people's heads. Like it wasn't like the fun force powers like you see in the movies. It was like I was like crushing people's skulls in and shit, and like I was just terrified, running away from the cops. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. (laughs) and then i woke up like i was sweating i was like dude what the fuck like why am i dreaming this shit yeah that's that's really strange that's probably like one of the more disturbing dreams i've ever had Hmm. i'm not a very like i'm not a serial killer so i don't really have like weird dreams but i'm sure you do paul i mean (laughs) (laughs) i you know funny enough i don't dream too often but when i do sometimes i can vividly remember them mm-hmm. um only sometimes most of the time that they just disappear like you ever had <laughs> you ever try to remember a dream right after you've had it and it, like disappears within like a minute yeah most of the time like most of your dream is already forgotten when you wake up yeah that's why yeah. i want to keep like a dream journal it'd be fun yeah but uh one of one of my dreams more recent dreams i guess that I remember uh, was one of these disturbing ones. And it was uh, <laughs> for whatever reason, I went to like a butcher shop uh-huh. and I was looking for, what was I looking for? I think I was looking, I must've been looking for meat or something, but I forgot why I dreamt this. I am thinking it's because of a movie. I don't know, mm-hmm. but I was in the butcher shop. I think I was, cutting meat or something and a guy walks in with a shotgun and he and he blasts like a, a piece of my head off 
right? Oh my God. Like the left side of my head or something. Yeah. And uh, and I woke up with like a cold sweat. I was like, <laughs> oh, it was one of those where like something came at you and it shocked you awake. Yeah, but it's not yeah. over though. I, I woke up in like a hospital bed, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. With with <laughs> with half my, half my head lo- missing. So <laughs> I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't really say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um, my mom walks in and sh- and she's like, I think she's asking me for something, but I couldn't answer her. So I was just like, dang, dang, dang. and uh, I realized I couldn't talk because my half my fucking head was gone. <laughs> so I go back to the butcher shop and I and I kill those dudes with a with the same shotgun or something. OK, but then after I killed those guys. Then another guy uh, shot me in the back of the head, and I woke up with a cold sweat <laughs> again. But this time it was real. I actually woke up. I was like, what the okay. fuck? That was really <laughs> weird. That's Yeah, d- dreams are fucking weird, man. Like, people, sometimes people act like there's a lot of significance to them. And then at the same time, it's like, well, what the fuck is the significance of that dream? <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> Like, yeah, I had no idea what the hell that was about, but yeah. I woke up in a cold sweat. But it was weird because I remember myself waking up, like I died two times in one dream. It was weird. Yeah, that is pretty weird. Yeah, because usually, usually I can wake up pretty quickly if I like trip in a dream or something like that. I like sh- get shocked awake. Yeah, at that time. I don't know what that was about. It was kind of weird. Kind of freaky. <laughs> kind of freaky, bro. Yeah, but not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, well, um, I guess on a similar level, have you ever met someone who was like really, really into that kind of stuff? Like dreams and crystals and all that? Like, <laughs> I used to uh, lucid dream. That was fun. Well, that's not, that sounds pretty fun. Yeah, everybody, that's where you're aware you're in a dream, right? Yeah, I used to do that. I mean, I, I guess I still do that. I can I, I can do that. When I know I'm in a dream, I know I'm in a dream, and then I just do whatever I want. Yeah. Or if I wake up and I was dreaming something really nice, I'll be like, what was I dreaming about again? Oh, yeah, doing this. And I and then I lay my head back down. I I try really hard to get myself back into the dream, and I can do it. That's cool. Yeah, you ever do that? Um, I do that. I do that part that you're talking about where I think really hard about whatever I was dreaming about, but I, I don't think I can lucid dream. Mm. Um, you should try it. Write like a letter A on your hand or something. Look at it right before you go to bed and say, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to dream tonight. And if I don't see this on my hand, then I am dreaming. And it, it usually works. Okay. Try it out. It's fun. Right. We'll see. You, you we'll ever see, tried maybe. DMT? <laughs> no, no, no. It's not this kind of podcast. Not that kind of podcast. <laughs> Just start rolling up a blunt. <laughs> Jerry, go get that blunt. <laughs> oh, God. Today we present a cross stitched cross joint. <laughs> and we laced it with LSD. <laughs> LSD on the left, uh, DMT on the right, <laughs> um, cocaine in the middle. So I've I've discovered this. Well, you know, it's a fairly big YouTube channel, but I've discovered this YouTube channel called um, Nexpo. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. Uh, he does like documentaries, right? Yeah, like horror type stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. and I've been watching his series, Disturbing Things from Around the Internet. Okay. Yeah, there's like there's like 15 episodes or whatever and it's weird like i like them kind of like they're enjoyable in terms of like giving you a good spook right before bed mm-hmm. you know but i fail to see the relation of them being related in any way to the internet like you would think that this would mean like oh this person posted this picture and then it was like a scary picture and then never posted again. Like what's the mystery, you know, Mm -hmm. but it's not really that it's like, Oh, this couple kept a child in a cage and they were caught and arrested. 
and the kid died. I'm like, it's not really from the internet. Like, that's sad, but it's not really related to what the show so is. You're saying he should have had a uh, like a like a side series called just disturbing things from around the world or something. Yeah. Like do that. Like, I mean, was the kid a Redditor or something like what? What's yeah. The, what's the relation <laughs> to the Redditor internet? Said something he shouldn't have. And people <laughs> just kept downvoting him <laughs> more and more. He went into despair and every moment or every time he woke up, every day he woke up. No, are you listening? Yes. He I'm, went on I'm that terrified. same post. He went on that same post, and the dislike bar was even bigger. <laughs> he said to Reddit, "That shit, I've had enough," and he <laughs> shot himself in the brain. <laughs> oh my god! His final words were, "Thanks for the gold, kind stranger." <laughs> yeah. Reddit, Reddit, sad story. Yeah, I um, wish I I should just make creepy pastas. That'd be fun. Well, that's what I, that's another thing I was gonna say. In this show, like a lot of the things that he talks about are very clearly just things that people made up on Reddit. Yeah, <laughs> like there's this preschool down by where I live. It's super scary. I live really close to it, but I don't have any pictures of it. I'm not gonna tell you where I live or where it is. <laughs> and oh. and um. There's always people standing out in front of it, so I can't take pictures of it. I'll post an update, and then you never hear from them again. Mm -hmm. But this person tries to present it as like, and then this person mysteriously disappeared. I'm like, no, they didn't. They just, they just, they got their karma and they left. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they do that all the time. I mean, both on Reddit and other forums, they uh, do that shit all the time. It's just you know, creepy. There's literally a creepy pasta subreddit where all the creep well you i don't know if you've listened to any creepy bosses lately but a lot of them are really just like that yeah exactly like that where yeah. it's like oh there's a place here and there this and that i don't know i think creepy bosses are pretty easy to do they are because you make one a lot of them are were um a lot of them are really bad <laughs> like yeah I, I would say that it's when you're reading a creepypasta, and it, it goes to show with horror too, but when you're reading a creepypasta, like there's a 98% chance it's going to have a stupid ending. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, oh man, I found this video game in a yard sale. It was Pokemon Blood. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then when I try to save the game, Pikachu came out and fucked my mom, and that's how it ends. <laughs> like, oh no. I found a cartridge <laughs> last night. It was, when I went to go throw the trash, I looked deep inside the void that was my trash can, and I saw <laughs> it shimmering in the night sky. The Mario movie starring, <laughs> starring, starring Chris Pratt. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. Yahoo. <laughs> Yahoo, brother. Yeah, Yahoo. Yeah, it's like, wait, I'm confused. Am I supposed to say Wahoo or Yahoo? And that's the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> and then Luigi's going to be like, come on, Mario. Yeah, I can't wait for uh, Ryan Gosling to show up as Yoshi. <laughs> Mario's like, what do you do? And Yoshi goes, I read. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I read. Yoshi. Wow. No, you know, honestly, like when they announced the cast, Chris Pratt was the only one where I was like, ugh. Everyone else, I was like, really? okay. I'm kind of down for this. The whole cast. No. The whole no. cast. I was like, bro, what is this? I I really fuck with Luigi at uh, Charlie Day as Luigi. I really fuck with that. I think that's going to be great. No, that's, no, you're being biased as hell. You like Charlie Day. But... I do like Charlie. And I, I would have loved if the entire It's Always Sunny cast was the Mario cast. <laughs> see, I can see um the dude that plays Dennis as Luigi. I can't see fucking Charlie Day as Luigi. What the hell? Well, well, maybe you're right, but that was because I yeah. think it, there's an episode where Dennis is literally Luigi. <laughs> like he oh, really? Episode. I think it was him. Was it the Halloween episode? Yeah, where they get deep pregnant. Oh. But um, <clears throat> yeah. Who, who who else was? It was Seth it's... Rogen as Donkey Kong. Yeah. But well, my question was: Is this a, a live action film or an animated film? Because <laughs> I was, I think it's animated, but it's I was yeah, like, it's animated. If, if this was live action, I was gonna be, uh, I was just gonna be like, dude, what the fuck is this? But <laughs> no, it's animated. No. It's it's made by Illumination. It's gonna this movie's gonna suck. Like I I'm, hear I'm my friends 
straight up yeah yeah my friends tell me that illumination makes like nothing but trash so I'm oh like, yeah oh. they've they've made the despicable me movies minions uh sing oh yeah that's what it was i They're said fucking garbage straight yeah garbage. no no they so what we had this uh talk about this where they told me those movies too and i'm like okay so the movie's gonna suck ass but yeah. it's gonna make a lot of money Oh, oh most definitely, because those those movies are fucking cash cows, man. Yeah, that's what. So that's what I told my friends. I'm like, okay, they're gonna make a fuck load of money, but it's not gonna it's not gonna be good. No, it's not <laughs> gonna be good. Um, but I <clears throat> I will die on the hill that I think the cast, aside from Chris Pratt, is totally fine. Let's I think take Jack. A look at the cast. I think Jack Let's Black see. as Bowser is fucking awesome. I think. Um, Keegan Michael Key as Toad is really good too. <laughs> hmm. And then there was another one that I was excited about. There was another character. Let's see. Oh, Anya Taylor Joy as Peach is really good. Like the casting is pretty solid. The movie's gonna suck Wiener, and I'm not gonna watch it, but I think the casting is pretty solid. I don't know if the casting is solid, but it. it- it could be better, sure, but I still really like the choices they made. I just think they, <laughs> I just think whoever's directing the movie was like, we just need big names. We oh, need absolutely. big names. And then they absolutely. get all these A plus stars, and that's yeah, it. Absolutely, that's the case. I'm surprised The Rock's not in it. I'm really surprised he's not in it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe he shouldn't. is, and he just hasn't been announced yet. Yeah, I can't wait for Seth Rogen to ask Mario for for a joint or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey Mario, you want a blunt? <laughs> they just start. No, he's gonna say he has to say something kid friendly. So he's gonna be like, "You want to roll a banana?" <laughs> <laughs> and then Mario goes, "That is not a banana, is it?" And then he goes, <laughs> and then Jack Black goes, "Yeah." <laughs> I know. We're gonna kill you, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, you, you, you. I don't know. I just don't see the cast <laughs> lining up. I'm sorry, I can't. I totally, I can absolutely 100 understand why people are upset about it. I have zero shits to give about this movie. So the casting, I'm like, that's great. That's great. <laughs> and Charlie Day is gonna be like, come on, Mario. <laughs> I mean. Ugh. I don't know. I could see Jack Black. I if Jack Black was Mario, cool. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Then you're right. I I wanted Jack Black to be Mario, and then Charlie yeah. Day could be. I could see Charlie Day as uh, Toad, and then maybe Keegan doing. Uh, yeah, I think Keegan would do luigi better and un- ironically that's a good my, point yeah my, re- my rearranging the cast slightly and then you could do chris pratt as fucking donkey kong yeah i could do chris pratt as donkey kong and then seth would be pretty good as princess peach and <laughs> <laughs> oh mario thanks for saving me <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. i don't know um, i don't see uh, it might be a fun watch i guess i don't i don't think like i used to work at a i used to work at a like a pc repair store yeah and this person he owned the store so it was just me and him and his wife and he had his two kids in the store at all times Mm -hmm. so they were constantly playing illumination movies and whenever they came on i wanted to die like i'm just like (laughs) what's the what's the sharpest thing i could find here and just (laughs) dude they're they're exceptionally bad movie. like they're just so like soulless like there's no moral or lesson that kids don't already know you know what i mean like mm-hmm. don't cheat like <laughs> don't give up on your dreams like stupid shit like that mm-hmm. you know you'll never see an illumination movie that tackles like emotion or death you know yeah. never in a million years will you see that what if we <laughs> see it in this one what if- <laughs> fucking what if like what if Mario gets his like like head cut off by Bowser or something? <laughs> by Bowser. Yeah. And then Peach has to deal with like the grief somehow. She's like sleeping around to yep. cope. And Luigi has to do an intervention with her because she's starting to use like hard drugs. Yeah, you never know. What if it goes a really dark turn? Hmm? That's true. What if like what Maybe if Maybe that's whole... why they have Seth Rogan. 
What if, <laughs> you thought about that? What if the uh, what if the whole movie is Luigi dealing with stage five cancer and like figuring out <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, <laughs> fig- <laughs> figuring out how he's going to tell everybody. It should, it should be it should be it should be a uh, Donkey Kong who has cancer. He's just a, <laughs> he's just a bald ape. <laughs> no hair. He's just walking around, skin there furless. And he tries to climb a tree and he falls and everybody goes, Oh oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Not me, yeah. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> yeah. What? They should just play the uh, that old Mario video that Filthy Frank and iDubs made together. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <I> remember. <laughs> that should just be the movie. Uh, yeah. I'll link it down below, but I I love the I have a question for God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I remember that. Wait, so I'm on the I I am DB page for the Super Mario Bros. The Movie 2022, mm-hmm. and uh, they added more characters. They have uh, Cranky Kong and Spike. Oh, those I think weren't announced. They just weren't like. They weren't like made with their own like slide. I think those were already announced, but I could be wrong. Because oh. I remember there was one more guy I was pretty excited about um, to be. Oh, Fred Armisen as Cranky Kong. Yeah, yeah, I like him. He's he's good. Yeah, and then they have. What has he been in? He's been in a lot of stuff. He's he's always like in the background of like a lot of movies. Hmm. Um, I feel yeah, I feel like I've seen him. I just you've you've definitely had if you've seen like oh yeah, I've seen this guy. I've seen yeah. Him. I'm looking at his photos. Yeah, I've seen him. I was gonna say it's it's, it's really funny how they have Charles Martinet, like the voice actor for Mario in this movie too, and he's just he's not Mario. <laughs> well, really? Yeah, I what I think he I think he's just doing like the effort sounds like wah wahoo, yeah, you know. You think they're just gonna superimpose the sounds? I mean, maybe I'm like, why not just what? cast? Why not just well, cast him? Okay, I don't know. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> what do you think is gonna be the uh, the mm, like the selling point of the movie? You know, like you got the minions, right? Oh, so you think you yeah. think this one's gonna be like the Goombas, like the little Goombas? My my partner theorizes it's gonna be Yoshi. Oh, and, she. and I'm inclined to believe that. I'm thinking it's gonna be Goombas. Goombas? Yeah, yeah. They're gonna they're gonna treat the Goombas like the like minions. Watch. So I was t- I was having a conversation with a friend, um, who uh, and he was saying that they're gonna do like a a baby Yoda type thing where a, like a baby Goomba, you know, baby like, Goomba. Baby that's Goomba, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay. So to me, it's either gonna be Yoshi or baby Goomba. Baby Goomba. Yeah. I, that's fantastic. So um it was I think it was I hate everything on YouTube. He coined the term Dibby, which is like the cute little thing that they try to market, like the minion, the dog from Coco, like all that. And now that's the term to me. Like the this movie's Dibby is gonna be a baby Goomba. Hmm. Yeah. I yeah, yeah, probably. <clears throat> gotta be something like that they yeah. they have to market it to kids so it's gotta i mean yeah i don't know <laughs> this movie is this movie is gonna be like there's gonna be like a fart joke or something like <laughs> like yeah. i don't know well you're right they do have charles Mar- martinet in this so yeah he's the voice of mario like yeah why isn't additional? he just doing mario what the fuck yeah i i don't know i don't know there was a, i saw a picture the other day that was like it was of uh, Norm Macdonald when he was on SNL. Yeah. And it was like, it was unrelated, but it was a bit of his. It was like, the Universal is pleased to announce that uh, Charles Martinet will have to buy a ticket just like everybody else. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, Bro. The Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> they did him so dirty, man. I'm like, he's already like the well-established voice actor. Like, he is the voice of Mario. Just give yeah. it to him. <laughs> Yeah, why? Well, that, yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't know why they're doing that. <laughs> I've talked about this before, not on the show, but like modern animated movies are just fucking obsessed with having huge stars like kids gives a shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, 
I don't understand that. Like it just inflates your budget like crazy. You don't give opportunities to other voice actors and some of them are fucking terrible at it. Yep. Some of these are not like Beyonce and the Lion King. Oh my God. Was she, she was, fucking horrible? She was in that movie. <laughs> yeah. She was Nala. I didn't watch that movie. So uh, yeah, I, I hate watched it. I, um, <clears throat> I sailed the high seas and I acquired it without paying she- for it. Mm, and, i see uh, i see was she um, how bad was she she was fucking awful dude like okay you know the song like can you feel the love tonight like mm-hmm. this bitch try to go like she try to like show off in the song like how good she is at singing and that's mm-hmm. not a song you do that she's like can you feel the love like dude <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> meanwhile like donald glover is just like chilling you know he's doing the best he can but it's so bad, dude. That whole movie is fucking awful. And she is one of the worst voice actors in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. No, she's you, terrible. Yeah. I, you know, at the very least, Charles and Martinette, they have him as just a voice. Yeah. So, so I don't know what that means per se. What if they do this thing where they like, I don't know. what, what What's the summary of the movie right now? Hold on. Is what, what is this? Hold on. What is the summary of the movie? It says a plumber named Mario travels through an underground labyrinth with his, with his brother Luigi trying to save a captured princess. Okay. So what if they do a segment where, I don't know, maybe I'm assuming it's going to be illumination animation, right? So it's going to be like yeah. 3D animation. Yeah. What if they go through a section where they turn him 2D and then they had Charles Martinet voicing him or it something. They could be, but I don't know, man. Like, I just like, I don't get it. And like Chris Pratt, like, doesn't really even seem like the right choice for that. Like for that kind of voice. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. I just, it just feels like that is like the weirdest casting <clears throat> ever. It, it's really strange. I didn't realize that that the actual voice of Mario was in this. So yeah. now now I'm more upset. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just that's like kind of weird. Y'all did him dirty for no reason. Yeah, that's kind of fucked. Yeah. That's so weird. I wonder if he's going to have like a Guardians of the Galaxy moment. He's going to go, "Hey Bowser." He's going to click a like a, his little uh cassette box. <laughs> I would leave. <laughs> I would leave the theater <laughs> if that happened. <laughs> I was be like, all right, fuck this. Movie. I mean, that's it's gonna what be- if? Hold um, on, God. I got another one. What if they're basing basing this off of the uh, the uh, Super Mario Galaxy games? Okay, okay. And then he's fighting Bowser, and his one liner to finish the fight off as he goes, he looks at the camera and he goes, "Hey, Bowser." I'm the guardian of this galaxy. <laughs> uh, the, the theater would be quiet and then you just hear me go, fuck you. <laughs> Can't wait. There's I endless mean, possibilities. There's going to be something like this, like where Mario gets a star and goes, I'm the star Lord. And then Luigi oh. goes, huh? <laughs> yep. Yep. There's going to be something like this, dude. There has to be. Hey, Luigi, People... looks like it's always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's going to it's gonna zoom in on their, their like hometown in fucking Brooklyn or whatever. Philly. <laughs> yeah. And then oh, God. That's exactly what it's going to do. There's going to be like stupid bullshit. Like, like I, I already know, like, Oh, this this works in the video game, but not in the movie. Like Mario's gonna eat a mushroom and be like, "Huh, I thought that would make me get bigger." And then he's gonna get punched and fart or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like I just knowing Illumination, like these movie, this movie's gonna be fucking awful, first of all, but it's gonna be like embarrassingly bad too. Yeah, everyone's gonna see it though. Oh, yeah. It's going to make a ton of money. A oh, yeah. ton of money. Oh, yeah. I, I'm probably going to go watch it just to see how bad it is. So. 
Oh, man, I don't know. I might watch it. I might not. We'll it'll see. be fun. It's yeah. going to be a fun little film. Can I, like I go how... see the Mario movie? Hmm? <laughs> Two tickets for the Mario movie, please. <laughs> Jesus, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, I I also like how Nintendo showed that as like it was it was it was shown during the direct. It was like the last thing that they showed. I'm like, all right, this is our bombshell. I was just like, guys, oh, was that really? I mean, they showed Bayonetta three as like the actual last thing, but I don't give right. a fuck about that franchise, so it doesn't matter. I do. It's pretty cool. Um, um, I mean, it, they look fun. They just don't look like games for me. If that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Like similar to the old God of War games, they never really appeal to me. Um, That's fine. Despite I like really I like hack and slash. So yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, they showed it as like this big thing. And while we're on the topic of it, like I also think that that Borderlands movie. I think the Borderlands movie is going to be worse than the Mario Brothers. Oh movie. my god, that was happening. Yeah, I think that that movie is going to be worse. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Borderlands is already fucking annoying. Um, I don't like that franchise. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that every character in that is really fucking annoying, and it's gonna have Tiny Tina in it, who is one of the most annoying video game characters ever. <laughs> and it's gonna be directed by Eli Roth, who is a fucking hack fraud. <laughs> nah, dude, do you ever see uh, the, that one? Movie about the Bible with the blind guy. It's fucking it. The Book of Eli. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The Book of Eli. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, the Book of Eli. Come um, on. Did he? Eli Roth didn't make that, did he? I don't know. His name is in it though. <laughs> yeah, Eli Roth made shit like, um. Like Cabin Fever, he made uh, the Green Inferno. I think I don't know. He's just a fucking horrible director. Like he's one of those people. Like my daddy works in the industry, so I'm in the industry. You know, mm-hmm. he just gets these things. But um, yeah, I'm not at all excited about that movie. I think it's gonna be ass. Yeah, I must be constipated the way I don't give a shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Know what I mean? Yeah. Know but... what I mean? <clears throat> yeah. No, thank you. Video game movies. I'm sorry. I I don't really believe that there will be a good video game movie. What about? Oh wait, no. I'm thinking the other way around. The... What? I'm still thinking about Wolverine getting its own movie or its oh. own game. I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, they made a movie based off the game. <laughs> 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 yeah and oh man oh i don't know we'll see man i think mario is gonna be uh quite the money maker i uh, no, i really I, I definitely think so too the illumination employs low cost animation um so their movies don't cost that much to make and they're almost always guaranteed hits i don't mm-hmm. think they've had a movie bomb in their entire no. like, in their entire run, they've been killing it. Yeah, they it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to bomb with how low their budgets are, but yeah. <clears throat> yup. You, you know who I'm surprised isn't in the Super Mario Brothers movie, but I'm also relieved that um, what? that fat fuck James Corden. James Corden. That Who's British. That? that British fat fucking asshole dude. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Blonde guy yeah yeah. Total, total fucking um, asshole, apparently. And um, super annoying. So I'm happy he's not in this movie yet. He could be cast as like Daisy or something. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Um, It seems like we're not the only ones upset about the Chris Pratt choice. Because there's actually quite a bit of articles saying like, why aren't they making Charles as the voice? Yeah, I, a lot actually. I feel like there's good reasoning behind it too, um, and you know there are some people out there who don't like Chris Pratt because of like his lifestyle choices, you know. So that's why mm. they're upset. I just think he's a horrible fit for Mario. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think, I don't think he fits at all. Yeah, um, I think. Um, I mean, you know, we're we're repeating ourselves, but Charles Matinet was just—he's totally fine, and he's yeah. he's voiced. He could literally voice like three of the fucking characters in this movie, mm-hmm. you know, and, and save a ton of money. But I don't know why they don't just do that. But again, it just goes back to my point where they just they feel the need to have these huge stars in these animated movies for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. There's no really there's not really a point for that. Maybe it's for the parents. Like, oh, I don't care. That Chris fucking... Pratt's in this movie. Yeah. I Who actually gives a shit? Unironically, it's the people who fucking bring the orange slices to soccer practice, Paul. They care, <laughs> <laughs> I guess, but I don't think fucking, it's not even in live action. So, soccer moms can't drool over Chris Pratt. Like, who cares? <laughs> gonna be looking at fucking Mario, fat plumber Italian guy, <laughs> fat plumber. Like, you know, Mario's not even fat anymore, he's lost his identity. Oh, he's not fat anymore. <laughs> Let me see. Let me look at it. He's got to be fat. He's got to be a fat, greasy, like, dude. He's Who's kinda... that? What's that porn guy? Uh, uh, Ron Jeremy? He's got to <laughs> look like Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. <laughs> Doesn't now, look like that anymore. Now, that would have been good casting. Ron Jeremy yeah. is Mario. OJ Simpson is Luigi. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Uh, let's see who else. Kevin Spacey is Donkey Kong. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, why not? He's yeah. going bananas. <laughs> Wonder why. Um yeah, but um um I might I'm I'm I might be morbidly curious enough to watch it, but I wasn't morbidly curious enough to watch the Sonic movie. Oh like, dude, I actually hear the Sonic movie was pretty good. I yeah, I don't know. I I've heard like the only people I've heard that from is like hardcore Sonic fans. No, I've had like a couple friends go watch it and they're like oh yeah it's pretty it's pretty fun it's a fun yeah. movie so i, I don't Jim know was really good in it yeah i hear it's great and then now people are looking forward to the second one so it's like uh, a timeline where sonic is actually better than mario pretty wild well we'll see it's a, it's a long drop to the bottom for mario i gotta say He's he's got to make up some ground to catch up to Sonic. <laughs> wow! Yes, <clears throat> I was just thinking about that, like how certain franchises just go completely down the shitter. Like obviously Sonic is one of them. Um, mm-hmm. Like they started off so hot and then they just completely fall apart <laughs> near the end. Yeah. Like <clears throat> I'm trying to think of another one. Like. Spyro for for a minute was hitting a really really rough patch. It was hard to be a Spyro fan. <laughs> wait wait wait! When is a Spyro getting a movie? That's a, that's. A, oh, I want a Crash Bandicoot movie. Actually, Spyro is not happening. They're not making a Spyro movie. They make a Crash Bandicoot movie. Are they? No, but I'm saying they should make one. That'd be no. cool. They're too busy making uh, Naughty Dog is too busy making The Last of Us show for some reason. The what? Is that a thing? Yeah, they're making a Last of Us HBO show. Like a live action one? Yeah. Why? I I don't know. You tell me. Oh, Windows? I know why. I know why. Because The Last of Us is a very very profitable series, and they're just gonna keep milking it for as long as they can. I mean, people are gonna eat it up. I could already, I could already tell. I and it's just like it's just. I mean, I I can understand it for someone who's like interested in the story, but they don't want to play the games. Yeah, because it's this. It's just The Last of Us. It's just the story, but in a show, in a miniseries. Yeah, I mean, I guess if they've yeah. never played the games, yeah, it might be yeah. good. And then, like, because even watching the cutscenes is like a fucking five to six hour commitment, you know? I mean, but so is watching a TV show. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't see the need for a last of a show, but dude, unless I didn't they're going to the expand. For, I didn't need, I didn't see the need for a fucking sequel, but they did it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
they're probably just going to expand upon it or something. Or maybe it's like you said, maybe it's for the audience that hasn't played the games. Well, know. yeah, that's what I'm thinking it is because um, there is, I'm reading here that it's the exact same story. Joel smuggling Ellie to across the post-apocalyptic United States. That's, that's the story. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, Unless they completely fuck it up, that will probably the probably be the best video game thing. But then again, it's just the road. <laughs> yeah, it's just their version of the road. I can already see the uh, reviews coming in too, though. Such an acclaiming uh, storyline. Wow, so dirty and gritty. Can't believe how good it is. So gripping. So gripping. So telling. Blah blah blah. Pedro Pascal as Joel is pretty good, though. The guy, the Mandalorian. Yeah. As Joel, that's pretty fucking good. Yeah. I'm not going to, I mean, like I said, it's probably going to be a good show. Yeah. But it's probably not needed. Since it's, you, all, it's just a cash cow thing. Since you sent, um, I just saw this super cursed image you sent me. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. What's your, what's your dream casting? Let's cast the Crash Bandicoot movie. Sure. All right, so who do you oh, let me crash bandicoot characters? Who do you have as crash for my crash? I'll have Chris Evans. Chris Evans, yeah, okay, that's not bad. <laughs> it's Captain America, yeah, yeah, that's all okay. he has. Is, I mean, he only has to say one thing, but he's gonna say it really well, you know. <laughs> he's just gonna would... look at the camera and go, Wow, <laughs> that's it. Wow, wow, I would that's have, it. um. I would have Vin Diesel as Vin Di- as, as oh, Crash. Good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Firmly. <laughs> wow. And then all uh, you just hear is the no idea. He's drinking a corona the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The little the little fruits are just coronas. <laughs> right, who, would you, who would you have as Dr. Neo Cortex? Dr. Neocortex, big brain guy, huh? That I could actually see. Uh, I feel like Steve Buscemi would be fucking cool. To have That's a that. great choice. Steve Buscemi is the yeah. Neocortex. Only if they do it in live action. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If we're doing live action shit, <laughs> let me change my crash. If, we, if we're going to. You hmm? can't do a live action Crash Bandicoot movie. What the fuck? Yes, you can. Hold on. You just have to make <laughs> him like anapomorphic or whatever, you know? Okay, okay. Just a human, buff human bandicoot thing. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, I think Chris Evans would be pretty, pretty good as yeah. Crash, honestly. Steve Buscemi is really I good. I don't think I could top that. Yeah, I think Steve Buscemi as ne- Neocortex would be fucking awesome. I was going to say someone up. like... I was going to say someone like Charlie Day. You could put Charlie. Whoa. You know what? You know what? Neo Cortex could be Charlie Day. And then Steve Buscemi can be his like his uh, that one fucking henchman. What's his name? Um, um, D. Jin, the robot guy. Yeah, it's the robot guy. But what's his name? It's Dr. Engine. Yeah. Engine. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's yeah. Great. It could be him. Yeah. Okay, we have our movie here. Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Who would be Aku Aku? That'd have to be like Aku Aku. That'd have to be like Patrick Stewart or like Patrick Stewart. Or like Morgan Freeman. <laughs> oh, dude, Morgan Freeman? That'd be lit. <laughs> it's Aku Aku. Aku Aku. And then and so was the time. Coco. Hmm? Coco Bandicoot. Coco, that can be uh, what's her? Oh, what's Chris Pratt's wife? What's his? What's her name? Oh, Anna, Anna Ferris. Ferris. Yeah, Anna Ferris. That's Easy. fucking great. All right, Easy. we have our movie. We have our movie. Easy. I'm excited now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could see it. Yeah. Jack Black would have Jack Black be... as Dingo Dial. Yes. Yes, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. And then who would all oh, the rock as Tiny Tiger? Come on. That's great. Yeah, the rock. Or it could be Vin Diesel as Tiny Tiger. Oh, Vin Diesel. Hmm, That'd be good. Be better. Or Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester. 
It's <laughs> Donnie Tiger. Oh yeah, that'd be freak. That would be fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Yes. You know what? Actually, no. Wait, maybe. <laughs> there's a guy, uh, Nitrous Brio. He's like a scientist dude, and mm-hmm. he and he's a boss. And what he does is he makes a potion, drinks it, and he turns into like a really buff guy uh, that flexes. So okay. I don't know. Hmm. No, what actually, I think Tiny Tiger would be pretty cool as Sylvester. The buff guy could be Arnold. Oh. And then when he's nitrous, he could be like, like the uh, Diesel, Steve Urkel or something. <laughs> What's Steve that guy's Urkel. name? What's that guy's I name? I don't know his fucking name. <laughs> no, I'm not. Who am I thinking of? Fuck. <laughs> I don't fucking know. It doesn't matter. Someone nerdy and pathetic. You could cast um, the nostalgic critic. Yeah, sure. It's Nitrous Brio, and then when he drinks the potion, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Can we make Pinstripe Potoro uh, as Robert De Niro? I was gonna say Joe Pesci. Oh shit, you know Joe, Pesci. Joe Pesci. Yeah, Joe Pesci would be kind of cool. Yeah, well, how am I funny? Funny how? <laughs> funny how? Mm. My. <laughs> Who's that dude? He's in like everything. Uh, he was in John Wick. He was the mechanic. What's his name? Uh, let me see. Oh, uh, John Luguzamo. Yeah, John Luguzamo. He should be Ripper Roo or Fake Crash. Hmm. He should be Ripper Roo, I would say. Ripper Roo? Yeah. Okay, then who would be Fake Crash? Yeah, it has to be the opposite of of Chris, of Evans, Chris Evans or something Someone similar. Who's the opposite of him, yeah, or something similar. Um, could just put Chris Hemsworth or something. I don't know. <laughs> Chris Chris Hemsworth's not bad because he got that Australian accent. Is he Australian? Chris Hemsworth? Yeah. Yeah, I thought he was British. No, he's Australian. Oh, huh. okay. Well, now you have me questioning it. I'm pretty sure he's Australian. Yeah, he's Australian. Huh. Did I? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Who would be fake crash then? I don't know. Did Unless you want to put like you you want to put Chris Hems or Chris Evans in there again, but like make him <laughs> make an act against himself. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Okay. That that works. See, there you go. We have our fucking movie now, and we saved Hollywood money on a on one actor. Because you have Which one, one? Actor that can voice two characters. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. See? See? Yeah. I like how we were just bitching about only casting big names, and that's all we did, too. <laughs> for this. Well, we, I was going along the lines of the Super Mario movie. Like, come on. <clears throat> Otherwise, I could fucking do like half of these voices myself. Who cares? <laughs> what are they going to do? All you got to do is whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All right, give us your best Aku Aku. Yeah, <laughs> Aku Aku. That's it. <laughs> yeah, like what else you need? All right, um, that was great. Now hit us with your best Dr. Neo Cortex. Donde están mis pantalones? <laughs> yeah, man. Crash. Come on, Crash. Come on, Crash. Yeah. <clears throat> I think well, we did a good job, though. We did a really good job, and if they ever do make a Crash movie and they don't announce this as the cast, I'll be very disappointed. I need, I need to play the new ones. I haven't played any of them. Oh, they made they made one new one, right? Oh, yeah, the, the one. Yeah, because I remember you played the remake on your stream. Yeah, right? yeah, I played the remakes, but I didn't play the new one yet. Those games are... Um, They're pretty fun. They're me. really difficult, though. Yeah, I'm not a platformer kind of guy. Uh, <clears throat> hey, who would be the... the uh, who would be the polar bear, the little polar bear that Chris Evans is going to write on? Um, Jack Black. There you go. That's that's actually perfect. Oh wait, no, we had we have him as Dingle Dial already, huh? Do we? Yeah, oh, we do. We do. Well, um, I mean, he can, he can also voice the polar bear too, I guess. No, no. <clears throat> Jack Black should just be everything. Honestly, Jack Black could pull it off. He could pull off any one of these characters. He could easily be Crash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can be Crash. You... I think you, yeah, you can actually just. I want to <laughs> see Jack Black can do most of these voices actually. 
Yeah. Just have him do it. Fuck it. And then just when he when he does the the girl voices, we'll just pitch him up. There you go. Yeah, or he could just be like, eh, 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 eh. like there you go. Yeah, just no, yeah, no post editing. Just let it go. Yeah. Fuck, fuck it. it. Just let him do his whole thing. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> it. Why not? <laughs> oh God. Well, that's um that's our cast, or that's our cast for the Crash Bandicoot movie. Um, before we head out, I wanted to ask you. Um, <clears throat> what's a food that you really, really hate, but people love? Hmm. Uh, one that I hate, but people love. Yeah. I want to say one that I hate, but people love. I have one. I'll, I'll go first. Yeah, you go first. For me, it's onion. Onion. Anything with onion, I fucking hate. I oh, cannot, I cannot stand the taste of onion. I got mine. I know what mm. it is. It's not everybody, but most uh, Hispanic households they love mole, and oh. I don't <laughs> like mole. Mole is so disgusting. It's fucking so- nasty. If you don't know what that is, mole is a traditional Mexican dish. I, like, or I guess I should say like Hispanic, but whatever. Um, uh-huh. It's a traditional Hispanic dish where you basically cook chicken and you make it spicy and you fucking put dark chocolate sauce all over it. Yeah. And it's just the most disgusting thing. Like when you read the origin like of it. it, it's like, okay, it makes sense. That's all they had in that little area. So of course they combined the two, but I'm like, fuck me. It's so gross. Like leave it in the past. <laughs> yeah. I don't like it. It's really gross. Mole is really, really nasty. So yeah, people love it. Like my mom, dude, she eats that shit up. She loves it. Yep. Whenever Can't I come, it. whenever I come visit her and she's made it, I'm like, ah, god damn it, I gotta go get some food now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not eating mole. Um, <clears throat> yeah, for me, it's onion. I had a, um, I had a horrible experience with onion once, and that mm-hmm. like forever ruined it for me. If I smell it, I start to feel sick. Yeah, really. really? Yeah. Oh, um, okay. I guess I got one too. <clears throat> uh, milk. I can't do milk. I mean, I can, but it's not my favorite whatever milk yeah it's too sweet do you drink like almond milk or anything or any alternative no just i just skip it I, I just skip milk yeah i don't really do milk i, I can only drink milk if it's going to be like i guess with a dessert that's it okay so um for any fans that want to meet paul now you know he's very frail <laughs> no i'm not frail <laughs> I, just, I just don't like it i don't know it's gross it's too sweet <clears throat> like milk sweet, is pretty sweet. It's like sweet water. I don't know. And you always feel very like bloated when you drink it. You're just like, oh, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I agree with you on that one. Milk is pretty gross. I'm not lactose or anything. I just can't have it. It's I'm, kinda, I'm, it's too I'm, sweet. I'm lactose, and I don't like milk either. Milk is disgusting. <laughs> It's always tasted. It's always tasted like rotten cheese to me. And I'm not drinking expired milk. I'm just saying, it's always tasted like shit to me. Amen. Um, so before we end, I wanted to go on a rant about TikTok food. Mm-hmm. Um, so I watch a fair amount of TikTok. Like when I'm on the shitter or when I'm just waiting for someone, I'll watch like five or six of them um, before doing my thing. And I, I really, really enjoy cooking. I enjoy cooking videos, all that. Like, I love it. Okay. And so sometimes uh, I've learned a lot of really good recipes from TikTok. I'm like, damn, that's a fucking good idea. I should do that. And then it turns out deliciously. Yeah. Sometimes Paul, sometimes they just cross the fucking line and I'm here to say, (laughs) you need to stop. I'm here to put my foot down and say, you need to stop because all right. I'll watch a video, right? Of someone making an absolutely delicious hamburger where I'm like, fuck, I want that, you know? Like it's like the right beef. They're they're fucking um what's the what's the term? They're grounding it so perfectly, they're cooking it medium rare, just how I like it. And then they cover that bitch in mac and cheese. And I'm like, why? Uh-oh. Why would you do that? Yeah, why I've would you that. do that? He knows. I don't there's something that that's going on with cheese and people are just shoving cheese into everything. And they just have a fucking fascination with it and it needs I, to stop. 
I love cheese, but that's too much cheese. It's gross. Yeah, I am. I am lactose intolerant, but I will die for cheese. Like I love it too. I eat it all the time. So I'm not a cheese hater. I'm just saying when yeah. they make something so delicious and they pour a cup of cheese all over, I'm like, you fucking ruined it. You, you ever see those burgers that have cheese in the middle so that when you bite it, it's like coming into your they mouth? Fucking nut in your mouth. I hate yeah, that. You get a cheese nut. Because because either the cheese is extremely cold or it's hot, way hotter than the burger itself. <laughs> and it just burns like you have lava in your yeah. mouth. It's gross. Yeah. Um. Same thing with uh, Cheeto powder. People have a fascination with Cheeto powder for some reason. Oh, dude, I've been seeing that too. Everyone's like, just covering shit in hot Cheetos, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I, okay, so I went to the fucking zoo today, and right outside of it, there's people that sell stuff. And because of fucking TikTok, now they have like additions where you can put cheese on your hot dog, like they can cover the bun and cheese and put Cheeto powder on it. I'm like, what are you doing? You're ruining the sacred art of making a hot dog. Yeah. You're completely you're completely perverting the sanctity. <laughs> yeah. Blasphemous. It's like I'm a, you know, hot dogs are I'm I have the same opinion of hot dogs as I do the grilled cheese. You got to keep it simple. As soon as you start mm -hmm. complicating a grilled cheese, it's no longer a fucking grilled cheese, it's a melt. Mm -hmm. You know? Don't put bacon or tomato slices in my shit. I just want fucking cheese. Yes, you know? sir. I feel I like a lunatic. It. I feel like I'm losing my mind over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but also I've seen some really disgusting TikToks that aren't like jokes. Like there's someone mm. who's like, I'm a trucker. I travel around a lot and I don't have a lot of time to cook. So what I do is I go to the store and I buy raw chicken and then I microwave it for 10 minutes and then I eat it. Ew. And I'm like, bro, you could just not do that. You can not be a disgusting animal and buy just rotisserie chicken. <laughs> yeah, they it's actually already so, cooked. Yeah, they saw rotisserie, dude. Just do that. Dude, like he took he takes a bite out of it too. It's so pink in the middle still. It's so disgusting. No, dude, it's just you can medium rare chicken. <laughs> mm. but I like to wash my chicken in uh with soap and water first and then I eat it medium rare. Oh yeah. Can I interest you in some American cheese uh sushi? Nigiri? Oh my god, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's god. American cheese nigiri. That's that know? looks so Just disgusting. Rice with cheese on top and a little bit of ginger on top of that. <laughs> Just stay Yummy. home. Just stay home. If if you're going to go out to eat and you're going to order that, I'd be like, why did you leave the house? <laughs> <laughs> Some American cuisine. You don't have a slice of craft cheese with rice at, ho at home? <laughs> no. God. Yeah. <clears throat> I've. Oh, okay. Fuck. Hold on. Let me. So I've seen the worst possible offense when it comes to food. I, I've, I remember saving this TikTok because I was so offended by it. <laughs> and I was, okay. I was showing my partner and they couldn't finish it because they started to like gag of how this fucking disgusting it was. So this, this lady, she, she made a TikTok about um, oven baked spaghetti. It was basically, she puts a bunch of dry noodles in a bowl and she puts the tomato sauce first then like some olive oil and like cold water and then she sticks it in the oven yeah for a little bit and then she covers it in cheese and onion like it's Ugh. seriously like the worst sin i think i've ever seen committed ever it's so gross it, it, i mean it'll cook it but it's gonna like taste really starchy and stuff it's gonna, it's gonna yeah it's not gonna be good it's like Ugh, I don't know. And they just they made a pizza out of it. They just covered it in cheese too. I know it's yeah, I'll I'll post the link in the description, but it's it's almost undescribable how <laughs> how yeah. terrible it is. And that's the it's thing, pretty like, gross. Like there's a thing of like doing your own thing with traditional recipes, but that's a sin. Come on. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's a war crime <laughs> in Italy. 
Oh, dude, Italians get so pissed. You kidding me? It's like it's like asking for a uh, chicken Alfredo in Italy. It's considered a yeah. sin. Is it really? Yeah, it's not a it's not a traditional Italian dish at all. Shit, good thing I've never been to Italy. It's like know. asking for orange chicken in China. <laughs> like they don't. It's not from they don't, China. They don't, they don't, <laughs> no, no. What you mean? I, I don't have this deep fried sugar chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Shut yeah, up, bitch! I don't want it anymore. <laughs> if it ain't here, it ain't for me. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, um, TikTok food needs to be stopped. Um, some of it's good, but some of it is really awful. Very. We should. I would love to dive to uh, delve deeper, but we don't have time, unfortunately. Oh, that's a great. I follow an Instagram account for this exact for that exact thing, of just like horrifically inefficient recipes that don't even look that good oh man you're in for a treat i'll show you a ton before uh, sweet for next week right. yeah okay so that's gonna that's gonna wrap this episode of the crusty couch up thank you guys so much for listening to this episode um if you like it please feel free to share it with your friends help us grow a little bit we always appreciate the comments you guys leave even when they are completely fucking random um <laughs> I always appreciate them. Yeah. yeah. It's always a fun time being here. And it's always a fun time just looking at this weird ass shit. I'm Honestly. excited for more weird ass shit. It's deep. Uh, delve deeper into this stuff. It's yeah. never enough. And then, uh, I want more. Next week, we have some exciting Halloween themed content planned. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, we do have some pretty exciting things planned. So stay tuned for that. And oh, uh, yeah. we will catch you guys next time. See you next time. Goodbye.